Do you have a good um, poker face? Yeah, I guess I'll raise you. <laughs> <laughs> This is Gary Grafman. Welcome to Happy Hour. This is Ukrop, I wrote, which Ukrop. is dill in Russian. It means dill. Do you have anybody you can still speak Russian with? After my parents died, it was only Rostropovich, actually, and I talked to him quite often. He liked the pepper a lot, so I brought him over. Oh, you like pepper one? Yeah. Cheers. Ooh, that dill. Every Russian grandmother has her own version of borscht. Mm -hmm. And there, don't forget, there's meat mm -hmm. borscht and, and summer borscht. And then I heard that, my father told me too, that they'd, they'd make barrels of it and attach it to the carriages that would be when you travel. Mm -hmm. It would freeze, of course, mm, yeah. and then you would chop off a piece, and uh, it's like frozen food. <laughs> Did you practice a lot? I'm just trying to imagine <laughs> you and and Leon Fleischer and Eugenia Stoneman in, in the late '40s, just hanging out, but also busy practicing. But we we very often met right here, half a block down, Steinway basement. So I reserved it from. 6 to 7.30, and Leon took it from 7.30 to 9, and Eugenie Stoneman took it from 9 to 10.30. Mm -hmm. And we would meet there, and or invite friends, sometimes we wanted to play through something, and have an audience of four people, four friends who would be listening, and then go off to the Russian tea room and have dinner. <laughs> Those were the days. Yeah. Do you remember, um, do you remember Fleischer on the second piano in your Brahms? Did oh, you know? I remember that for well. If, if I were to choose one person to accompany me on the Brahms D minor concerto, I think it would be Leon Fleischer. No. Now, we do have this empty chair here. If, if, if you were to pick one student who would be a guest of honor here, who, who might it be? Well, I mean, Yuja would be very amusing. Yuja, yeah. yeah. I, I wouldn't mind that. I mean, I think... So would Lang Lang, for that matter. Well, uh, let's get them all here. I say we... Yeah. <laughs> I think we have one more vodka to try. That's what Shall we? we? Absolutely. It's interesting horseradish is the most popular because, I mean, if you haven't had the horseradish vodka shop before, it's, it can be quite overwhelming for, uh, for a new newcomer, yeah. right? Now, what do we say in Russian? Nasterovia. Instead of cheers. Nasterovia, which means to your health. Nasterovia. Nasterovia. It is the best. <laughs> it just has more character than the mm -hmm. others. Yeah. Delicious. Um, you're 91. Yeah, in October I became 91. You've lived a life with music, with the piano. You've been playing the piano, so, I mean, you were you were born in the 20s. I was born October 20 and October 14, 28. And here we are, we're back to the 20s. So through the, the I, I, it didn't affect me, or I didn't know anything about it, but through the depression. My father gave violin lessons. Mm. He in, uh, added to the income by playing in Broadway shows. Oh which paid more than orchestras. When I was two and a half, my mother took me to, to visit her parents and sister, who were in Berlin. Still, uh, still the Weimar Republic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and in the middle of the night, my mother sort of woke, woke up and I wasn't in the cabin with her. And so she, you know, put on a panicked, put on a bathrobe, and went outside and they said, Look, don't worry, so he's, he's, yeah, he's walking around somewhere. We'll, we'll find him and she passed into a large room where the Boston Symphony was sitting because the Boston Symphony had a tour of, in Europe. Mm -hmm. And I was in the lap of one of the Boston Symphony players. They were playing poker, and that's where I was found by my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a good um, poker face? Oh, yeah. Let me see it. Yeah, I guess I'll raise you. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure. I have, well, Maybe there's a little residue here I should fit in. Oh, there isn't. I can produce one. Well, we'll turn the cameras off and maybe have another. Okay. I, we have a crew. Oh, yeah. There's a crew here. I don't know if you are aware. There's other people in the room. 
I know that they, they and have, they might be interested they, in, but they should have all seven bottles too. Uh, well, we'll yeah. give them something to take home. Yeah, I mean, okay. They've never been very patient with us yeah. today. This is an, an extreme pleasure. Um, I'm overwhelmed <laughs> with uh, gratitude for you for hosting me um, all day. Uh, I've learned so much I from agree. being in your presence, and I hope we can uh, do this again, maybe with more company. Well, Thank you very much. Barkeep. <laughs> That's it. Take care. It's a pleasure to everybody. Mm -hmm.